Good evening. Welcome to the BVI Chamber of Commerce and Hotel Associations program, Chamber Talk. I'm your host, Trevor Grant. And this evening, we're going to be talking about the upcoming BVI CCHA by BVI trade show. This year's theme is Buy BVI and Save. My guests are Troy Christopher. He's one of the directors of the BVI CCHA board, and he's also the president of the business committee. Mr. Cromwell Smith is another director of the board of the BVI CCHA and a member of the business committee. So without further ado, we're going to just talk about the BVI, Buy BVI trade show. So give me a little bit of background about the Buy BVI trade show. Well, first of all, Trevor, thanks for having us on the program. Thank you for coming. Um, the Buy BVI Trade Show, or we call it the Buy BVI Trade Expo, um, was started in the 90s. Um, it was, I think, the brainchild of um, the, the current um, director of trade at the time um, and the BVI CCHA. I think it was Nadine Battle and Dolores Christopher. Okay. I think both of them came together and saw the need to give businesses um, a lot more exposure that than, than they were having. And they decided to come up with a concept of the trade show. At the time, uh, which is still similar right now, a lot of people shop off island. Some people not sure what is available locally. Correct. A lot of the businesses have new products and great value, but people don't really know about it. And so the trade show has been solving to expose those businesses um, to the BVI public and show you know what can be had when you buy BVI. Mr. Smith? Yeah, I just want to uh, add to that, Trevor, and again, thanks for having us thanks on for coming. Chamber Talk. Uh, during that time as well, the climate in the country, I think, if I remember correctly, was one where we were beginning to understand the importance of keeping our dollars circulating in the territory. Correct. We had determined, I think, that we had approximately between 40 and 60 million dollars that were leaving the BVI every year and going to places like St. Thomas and Puerto Rico and as far as Miami. And we realized that the more the money it was able to circulate. The longer it was able to circulate within the territory, it would have been um, better for businesses. And of course, if it was better for businesses, it would be better for the whole economy. You were very vocal about that, I can remember. Uh, yes, uh, that, that, that is true. <laughs> that is true. I, um, during that time, uh, like I, came to, I came home in 1995. And I started uh, Omoja, I think, around 1996, 1997. And one of the things that I continue to say was that along with the versus fire in our economy, we also had to make sure that we spend more of our money within the economy because it's the, the amount of time the money circulates. Since we don't print money, we had to keep it here as long as possible. And I think um, that may have had something, I can't say for sure, but that may have had something to do with, with us you know, realizing that we needed to promote BVI business business more so that BVI landers, people living here uh, in the BVI would uh, know what's available uh, and know where to shop and try to keep as much of that money here as possible. The Buy BVI trade show, what, what is the date, the time and the, and the place of the show for, for this year? Well, this year it's going to be held in the multi-sports complex. Okay. Um, it's going to be, I think, at a special time of the year this year, in December the 7th and the 8th. And I think that time of year presents a great opportunity for a lot of businesses um, to come and showcase their products and services. It's right around getting ready for Christmas. Right around uh, <laughs> getting ready for Christmas. It will be the week after the um, Christmas on Main Street. Okay. Um, I know that that's going to be deep in the heart of Christmas. A lot of businesses have said that it's a, a good time for them because they will have a lot of new packages and stuff being able to offer to uh, the customer. Also. I think it's going to be a great time. So has this been a shift from previous years? I think in the past we've it has been held in October sometimes, Correct. Uh, sometimes in November. Um, but this year um, has been a little challenging. A lot of the businesses have been a little slow to you know, get everything in place. Okay. And we have been looking from the Chamber's perspective um, at 
trying to find a, a, a good time of the year when a lot of the businesses could ride on top of the promotion that we are going to be giving them um, during this Buy Be Red trade show. And this time of the year is great, we think. A lot of the businesses are going to be ready. There's a lot of businesses that have readjusted themselves and come up with some new creative services and new, you know, spectacular values. And we expect that, you know, they're going to, the public is going to be, you know, presently surprised. That's very good. That's very good. But why the theme by BVI and save? How did you come up? How did you come up with that? Or who came up with that? Uh, I. I think it's it like was a committee effort. Yeah, a yeah, committee yeah, effort, effort to come up with the name by BVI and save. Um, because one of the things that we've been noticing in the BVI is that sometimes people shop overseas and take it for granted that um, it costs more in the BVI. But a lot of that has changed. The majority of it has changed. And a lot of our customers have noticed it. And we really wanted to bring this um, to, the, to the forefront so the, the whole community can really pay close attention to a lot of those businesses that are providing a great service and you have an opportunity to save money by actually buying local and not taking it for granted that you know when you spend your airline ticket or when you spend your you know ferries uh, uh, money and all your time that you think you're saving money but uh, you know a lot of times right. especially in this new environment where a lot of these businesses are adjusting and rising to the challenge correct um, you you can save Significantly more money locally. Than what do you? Your money what do you have to say about the, the theme, Mr. Smith? Well, it, it's a it's a very appropriate theme, okay. and I think that uh, in addition to what Troy has said. Uh, with the government, the new reduction of uh, tariffs in, in, in the sense that they uh, begun to allow businesses to bring in goods and just charge duty on the freight, I'm sorry, duty on the invoice right. and not on the freight and, and the insurance. insurance. Right. Uh, many of the businesses, particularly member businesses of the BVICCHA, okay. have passed that savings on to the customers and made buying the BVI more competitive. Also, many times it's just a perception. We have been conditioned for such a long time right. to think that if you buy it overseas, it's cheaper. If you buy it in St. Thomas, it's cheaper. And no doubt, some things you know we can't compete with. Right. There's some things that but, will, will, will but be cheaper. Mo- yes, but for the most part, uh, particularly with the reduction in tariffs, we have been able to come closer to the prices in St. Thomas. And when you uh, add up the ferry costs, as Troy said, when you add up transportation in St. Thomas, lunch in St. Thomas, aggravation in St. Thomas, and when you come back duty in the BVI, uh, you really have not gained that much. Correct. And then when you take into account the importance of circulating dollars in the BVI community, uh, we uh, it, 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 it turns out to be a loss to go uh, to overseas uh, to places like St. Thomas or, or Puerto Rico to shop. No. And then we are, and then in addition to that, our businesses are, are also getting a wider variety of, of products uh, and, and, and so on to, to sell as well. And there's a also an important factor that happens to a lot of uh, customers they've been complaining over the last couple of years where you look at a flyer or you see something on the internet where right. um, this store is going to have a, um, a Thanksgiving Day sale or special or something and you you know spend all your money going to the, the Puerto Rico or whatever and then when right. you get over there that it was only two televisions they had the items already price, sold out or the item that you're looking for the clothes or the, the, the shoes or something that you're looking for I hear that um, has already has already gone and sometimes it's just a marketing a marketing you know gimmick from for some uh, companies to get Correct. you in the store and to lure you over there and then you end up buying a higher price uh, item anyway and so these are things that we want to make sure that the public you know knows and the, the businesses you know respond to that's one of the reasons why again we ch- have chosen this time of the year and we're going to try to give the businesses a lot of publicity during this time of the year so that they can pass on those savings and benefits and some great services to the customers how, Im- how important would you say it is to buy in the BVI especially in these you know challenging economic times well I think that um, Sometimes when we talk about buying BVI, I'm not sure that we really put it in a, a strong enough perspective. Okay. All of us are going to work every day. 
all of us go to work at different businesses every day. But what if you're going to work and the people who are supposed to be your customers in the restaurants, in the you know, you know, um, supermarkets. supermarkets, the the computer stores, the, all the different businesses that make up the BVI, right? Those customers aren't coming. Hmm. Where are you going to work? How are you going to earn your your money? How are you going to be paid? So in every country, it's always important to support the businesses that are in that ter in, that, in that country or in our territory. Um, you look at the U.S. elections, and a yes. big uh, <laughs> word that they're talking about is jobs and small businesses. That's that's a very big. Uh, they're saying that small, point. small businesses are the engine of every of the country. Yeah. That's true. And it's the same way in the in the, um, the Virgin Islands. True. And again, all of us go to work. We go to all kind of different businesses, or friends, or family members, and everybody wants to bring home a paycheck. Everybody wants to contri contribute. That is the foundation of the economy. So essentially and you're saying it's, it's even more important to buy locally now? As, as, as I, think, I think it's not only more important to buy locally now, I, but I also think that, you know, sometimes you have to make a decision. Uh, it's not everything that you buy in the BVI is going to be um, less expensive in the BVI. Right. Although I think that uh, it's significantly better in the majority of stuff might be. Correct. But I think that if you have to make a decision of where to spend your money and the, not, the, the money seems close, spend your money in the territory. Because every business that has an accountant, every, businesses, every business that uses a plumber, every business that uses you know, some of the services um, that is provided locally, you know, those people have to, have to be paid from the money that we spend around, circulate, pass around in the economy. And of course they have to pay taxes. They have to pay taxes, we have to fix roads, we have to do schools. And you know, the majority of time you spend your money overseas, you know, the money is gone out of the economy, sometimes never to return. That's correct. And so th those fundamental principles is something that BBICCHA uh, stands by and something that we intend to promote aggressively. Yeah. And, and quickly before we go to the, to the break, I want to also add, without that money coming into the businesses, a lot of social support that the businesses are able to, or would be able to give to the community, they will not be able to give to the community because they won't have the money to sponsor the, the, the Queen pageants, to sponsor kids going away to, to, to a, a music uh, festival, or, or going to, to run track and field in another country. You know, all the things that businesses sponsor and the, the give backs that businesses give back, that comes from that customer base. And if we take that customer base as, as a society, and transfer it to another location, then we ourselves are going to suffer and those sponsorships cannot be coming forward. And you will hear a lot of businesses saying, oh, well, you know, I can't afford to sponsor this, I can't afford to sponsor that. That's and actually it, an interesting And point, it's yeah. really important that that money stays here because for, for that particular social consequence. Mm -hmm. That's, that's some very interesting points. And, and then all of it, for all of those social responsibilities fall on the government, and then everybody has to pay higher taxes to support all the problems that, you know, that, that, that come from it. What we're going to do is we're going to take a break. We're going to go uh, take a word from our sponsors, and we'll be back shortly. Good evening and welcome back to the BVI Chamber of Commerce and Hotel Association's program Chamber Talk. And tonight I'm your host Trevor Grant and tonight we're talking about the Buy BVI Trade Show. And I've got uh, two guests on the show. My guests tonight are Troy Christopher who's one of the directors of the BVI CCHA and he's also the president of the business committee. And I also have Mr. Cromwell Smith. He's another director of the BVI CCHA and a member of the business committee. And we're talking about the Buy BVI Trade Show and the theme, buy BVI and save, all about buying locally. 
No, uh, just, just a couple more questions. Now, what would be different or, or special about this year's by BVI trade show? What, what's, what's different about this year's by BVI trade show? Well, a couple of things. Obviously, you know, this is the first time it's going to be had in December. Right. Um, and this is a great time, the 7th and the 8th of December. Um, we're actually at the final stages now of um, inviting all of our businesses to participate. Um, they still have some time that they can get in and sign up. We've had a lot of businesses already signed up already, um, but there is some space that some businesses can still sign up. Um, they can get in touch with um, Avril Alexander at the Chamber of Commerce and you know, decide with what size space they want. But I'll tell you a little bit about what's going to be different this year. Um, we're seeing a lot of new businesses with a lot of new businesses, business ideas. Obviously, we talked a little bit about it being a little challenging environment. And a lot of businesses have risen to that challenge and have adjusted their um, business model. And we're seeing a lot of new products, a lot of new services that is providing um, better value, maybe some of the best values that we've seen. Um, some people are providing extremely, you know, extremely good services. And so I think this year, um, the customers coming to the trade show um, is going to be very happy. Very, I myself happy. have been um, involved in the trade show in the past and one of the things that always resonates about the trade show is when you have people attending the trade show, they always remark that they didn't know that the BVI had this or it had that. Oh, yes. there, there's always something, some, some new feature, some new service that people learn about at the trade show. Mm -hmm. And in addition, there's going to be some, some great values, I think, uh, with uh, the, the realization of the challenges uh, that we are facing in the economy, um, businesses have really gone a distance in making sure that there are good deals uh, for, for Christmas. There is going to be uh, a lot of great value, great, great values, um, a lot of discounts. And as I said, the, the environment is, is, is such now that uh, it's very competitive. Wow. So uh, I think. Uh, Customers are going to really be the beneficiaries of this year's uh, trade show and this year's business community, during, particularly during uh, Christmas time. I think an additional feature that um, the president has initiated is a, more of an educational uh, trade show. A lot of times, it's a new uh, twist as yes, well. A lot, of, a lot of times we, we're doing businesses, and we, you know. <laughs> I, I had an interesting experience. Okay. I thought I, I was I was in, in a field which I was really good in that field, uh, and I thought that I could do that for myself that I was doing for others. Right. And I went off and and, and got my own business. Right. And started my own business to realize even though I'm I'm a, I'm a good technician, <laughs> I'm not necessarily a good businessman. Okay. And 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 I had to go out and reorient myself, get some education, take some courses. And I think one of the features uh, in the trade show this time is going to be educational where we give our, our vendors and our, our businesses opportunities to get uh, to take advantage of seminars and, and business information that's going to enhance their businesses that's going to give them ideas and in and, and, and creative ways to attract more customers and and to to, 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 to get financing and and, and, and get a, a, a better sense of how uh, business is conducted some of us who um, may fall short in that area so there are going to be a number of, of educational our features on, on, on our main stage and we are going to try to bring uh, more good information to the business community as well as the public as to how business in the, is done and the importance of not only doing business in our community but supporting the businesses in our community. That's a very interesting mm -hmm. twist because... Uh, yeah, sorry, to, not to interrupt you but um, one of the, the, the concepts being that um, if in this technological age that we're using we want to have a couple of uh, presentations on the stage um, where um, if you wanted to know how to target your customers using Facebook right or if you, uh, social media, is, social is, media is, is the biggest thing right now if you wanted to know how to um, target your customers customers using BlackMary Messenger or right. Twitter or some services like that um, we're gonna have some speakers who are going to be addressing some new creative ideas in terms of how to reach your target audience and you know that type of thing so not only are not only are people coming to, to shop and see the the offerings of the by BVI trade show they can actually learn yes. about these things so yes. even so attendees can also be part of the seminar that's as well right. that's wow right. there's gonna be they're gonna be 
the main stage and they're not necessarily going to be very long but there are going to be some great tips and opportunities there. We're working with a lot of the businesses who have some of these, some, these types of services and provide this um, level of expertise um, to provide to business, not only the business community, but the, the public in general. Wow. What are some of the special features? I mean, that, that's, that seems very special. But are there any more special features that we can, we can look, to, look forward to this year? Well, um, there's a couple of other things that we're working on that hasn't been hammered out exactly. Okay. So I'm not going to say as yet. We will say that there's going to be a lot of giveaways. Um, there's a lot of businesses. Giveaways are always good. That's <laughs> going to be doing some, not only giveaways and raffles. Okay. And so um, I think the public is going to be surprised at the different types of things that just come into the trade show um, will make them eligible to win um, as well within within the space. Yeah. And I also want to add to that we, we want to take this opportunity to encourage uh, businesses to get on the, ban the bandwagon of the BVI trade show. Not only to participate in the show itself, right. but to create a, a atmosphere of advertising and promotion during that period, so that it all comes, it creates a, a, a feeling, an ambiance in the in the in the business environment, in the community, in the marketplace of deals of people selling of variety you know spice it up a little bit uh, and, and 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 make the public feel like you know listen we are here uh, to serve you we are here to bring you the good products for the best prices and so that you could feel good and confident that when you buy in the BVI you are actually getting a good deal so I think um, we are going to be coming around to businesses and asking them to do some additional promotion during the time of the, the trade show. So while, I'm, while we're here, I'd like to encourage them to start thinking in, along those lines and, and start putting up their own banners, and, and even if they are not in the show. In the, in, in the multi-purpose sports club, yes. like put up their own banners around uh, around their businesses and, and and be a part of the promotion. Okay, uh, you know, with the with the BVI uh, by BVI trade show as well. Well, this is a great undertaking, and I, I I'm sure that there must have been some sort of goals that you folks have set. But what are some of the goals that you've set for the by BVI trade show as as it pertains to the businesses of the Virgin Islands? What are, what, are, what are your goals for that? Well, I'll tell you outright. I mean, obviously there's a number of goals but we definitely want significantly more vendors than we've had before correct that's one of the things that we've really targeted and I think the vendors are responding and we've created some more space so that more vendors and more types of vendors uh, can participate so again we're appealing to some vendors to sign up and still be a part of it um, we also want to make sure that the environment that we provide within the context as Cromwell was talking about is um, a one of exposure. Um, we are encouraging a lot of businesses to make their services and their products um, known, clearly known um, to um, the BVI public. Um, it is a challenging time and we've noticed that a lot of the businesses have uh, changed their pricing some of some of the businesses have is offering a, um, a lot more value right um, a lot of uh, residents have said to me personally that you know going to St. Thomas is not as big as it used to be before a lot of the food stuff that they used to go to before you know is not such a big draw anymore and so the businesses have responded and there's a lot of other parts of uh, the business community that have um, responded as well um, within the food industry um, some of the new businesses that are coming on stream and um, within there there's a whole new level of technology that's been available right now and the way in which you use it and again if you buy stuff in a BVI you don't have to worry about some of the issues where it's sometimes it's broken and you don't know where to carry it back to you know a lot of those types of issues you know we're hoping to you know expose encourage the business community and the public to engage because we think that um, despite of the word challenge, um, right. I think that there's also great opportunity. Um, imagine um, some businesses that you know have been doing business the same way all the time, and new businesses come on board and offering um, a significantly different way of doing things. This is a time when everybody in the public has to change. Globally, we know the challenge, 
and we all have to change. Correct. Time to so, change. Yes. Yeah, so that means that there is a great opportunity for businesses to take advantage of the change that we are all going to be changing. And so I think it could be a great business environment as well. And some, some businesses have realized this and realized how important it is to, even if you come up with a new concept for your business, to market, to get yourself out there, be a part of the Be Very Trade Show, and let the Chamber of Commerce help you know, your business to get a lot of publicity and be a part of the trade show. Now, it's, it's over two days. It's over it's the 7th and the 8th. Mm -hmm. It's a Friday and Saturday. Okay. Mm -hmm. now, uh, now, is the is the trade show open? What are the hours? Because I think, you know, you, you have to allow enough hours for people to come in and and, and see these. Well, on Friday it starts at ten. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that's 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 going to be the same. Um, it normally goes to seven or eight. Um, this year, being in the Christmas season, and we're looking for a little more um, entertainment <laughs> and fun experience. Oh, that's it, good. It, it might go a little later on both nights. Okay. Um, but those are the two uh, days that we're having it. And Friday's going to start at 10 and go maybe until 8 or 9. And on Saturday, um, it's going to start early in the morning, uh, maybe around 7 or 8, and go all the way again till in, you know, late in the evening. And, 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 and quickly, uh, Trevor, in, in addition to what Troy was, I said about uh, the, the goals, the goals, I think at, at the end of the day, we want to, to, to manifest, we want to see manifest in an environment, in a community, in a business community, in a, in a territory, uh, our slogan, our theme, by BVI and save. When, when, when it's all said and done, we want our, the market in the BVI, we want the, the people living in the Virgin Islands to, to feel that when they buy in the BVI, they are actually saving. Uh, it's no longer the case that you have to go overseas to get a bit, the, the, the best price. It's no longer the case that you have to go overseas to get the best product. Uh, and it's not uh, no longer the case that you have to go overseas to get the best values. We want to make it clear at the end of the, uh, the BVI, uh, uh, by BVI trade show that in, it is true that when you buy in the BVI, you are actually saving. You're saving time, you're saving money, you're saving aggravation. So that's that. I like that. I like that. I like that. Definitely. And on that note, we're going to take a break, take a word from our sponsors. We'll be back very shortly. and welcome back to the BVI Chamber of Commerce and Hotel Association's program Chamber Talk. I'm your host Trevor Grant and we are talking about the Buy BVI trade show and I've got two guests with me. If you're just joining us we have uh, my, my guest is Mr. Troy Christopher. He is one of the directors of the BVI CCHA board and he's also the president of the business committee. Uh, my other guest uh, tonight is another director of the board of the BVI CCHA and he is a member of uh, Mr. Christopher's business committee and we're talking about the Buy BVI trade show under the theme Buy BVI and save and I like this <laughs> this save thing you know you get me you got me with that <laughs> I like this Buy BVI and save and you know uh, more getting getting more into the into the meat of the trade show um, how can a business participate though in the trade show what are they how, how do they go about participating in the trade show well it's very easy um, you call the BVCCHA Chamber of Commerce. Um, you speak to Avril Alexander. She's been great over the years. She's very good. Uh, organizing the, the, the majority of the elements of the trade show and registering um, businesses. Um, we try at the chamber. We try to make it very easy um, to participate. The, prices, the process is very easy. Yeah, the prices we think are great. Um, it's two hundred and fifty dollars for gets you a spot. Um, they have different sizes. Um, you can have in terms of boots. There's a six by eight 
that's three hundred and twenty-five dollars, or a bigger size, which is a ten by ten, right. which is four seventy-five, or a really big, you know, uh, eight by twenty, which is like seven hundred. No, Mr. Christopher, did you did you? Is there any increase in prices? No, no, definitely not. Oh, this, oh no. This year we haven't increased uh, any of the prices. And because we want again as much businesses as possible, I think that's to, a, that's very important you know, to know. Come out and showcase their products to the public, and so we haven't increased any prices, but we think that we're going to be offering more value for the businesses in promotion. Based on what I've heard, and more tonight. value for you know the customers on the whole. So we think that this is a great time for if you had um, businesses sitting on the fence, wasn't sure no, the where, to jump on the bandwagon. whether they want to be part of it. This year, it's a great time. I know most of you businesses will be ready with your new promotions in, uh, by December. And this is a great time to be part of this promotion. Again, paying such um, small monies to be part of a big promotion like this and having a place where all the public is going to be coming uh, to see a new product and you can explain your services, uh, we think is a great opportunity at specifically in this environment. Now, I, I've been to many of the trade shows mm -hmm. and it's, it's amazing how much people actually pass through the multi-purpose mm -hmm. sports complex and, and, and see the products and services that you're about to offer. That you're about to offer. Mm -hmm. And I think it's, it's very good for the businesses that, that are thinking about participating, mm -hmm. that this should be one of the most major draws to, to being a vendor, is the, the, the amounts of, of people that actually... The traffic. The, the traffic. traffic is incredible. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, Especially the, the, the energy, there's mm -hmm. high energy, there's mm -hmm. music, there's food, there's... Mm -hmm. The ambiance is, is, is very conducive to business. Mm -hmm. okay. and, and continually, a lot of businesses who participate in the trade show have said you know, how much they didn't realize the exposure that they, they were going to get, um, how much you know, different people they, were, they, they met. Um, a lot of companies, you know, if you have a special service that you have, you not only get a chance to meet um, the public, you get a chance to meet other businesses. So you're talking about any size business. It's I could have a small business, I could be Joe Blow that cleans, that has a, has a right. carpet cleaning any business. business. It doesn't correct. matter. That mm -hmm. is correct. You get a chance to, you are going to be standing next door to, if you are cleaning a uh, service and you are standing to next door to somebody who is a major distributor for a, a cleaning product, you know, it's, it's a good mingle. Right. You know, you get a lot of opportunities. It's not just the customers. And the customers are great in that people come and you sign contracts and they they get your information sometimes you might be able to take orders right there on the floor and you know you move your business off and start the new year strong and making sure everybody and knows what I like your business what I like as well is that there's always a deal there's always an incentive there's always a and and and, and, and it's, it's important it's important especially when you're launching something new mm -hmm. you know you give people incentives and this trade show is full of incentives and full of good deals and 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 people bring their family that's yes. right yes. and we're, we're going to be in we're encouraging the businesses to to give what we call trade show specials. Okay. You know, those are exclusive deals for people who show up at the, at the trade show. Okay. That's right. Mm -hmm. And you know, a lot of businesses have done this in the past. Um, sometimes you have uh, companies who provide, you know, a host of different services and you can get a gift certificate or a coupon or something that will last throughout the year. This is a great place to come and either offer this service to your customers or provide a special pricing um, as what we call trade show specials. But is there a deadline for applications at, at all? Or? A deadline, you know, in the BVA is very <laughs> difficult to, <laughs> to put a deadline. I think it's okay. But I'm, I'm going to say that um, yes. you, you definitely, we definitely, I was going to have a cutoff period okay. at the, what is that? Uh, the, the end of November. Okay. The end of November. But I think that a lot of people might be surprised if you wait that late. Then you you want that the spaces are gone. It might be sold out. From okay. what we are seeing, you want to call as soon as possible, resolve your spot as soon as possible because everybody's showing interest and a lot of companies who've done it before have already committed. There's some companies that don't play around with that at all. No. Let's say that. Some people, <laughs> the know, they about it, some people they know, know, it. know the value of the Buy BY trade right. show. They know the value of the publicity and some some companies aren't sky lacking at all. They've already jumped on the bandwagon and made sure they resolve their space. And I think that you know a lot of companies who haven't made the decision yet needs to just you know find and make that decision. Yeah. And and I wanted I just want to say the phone number right here is four nine four three five one four four nine four three five one four four nine four 
3514 uh, and that's for Avril Alexander you can you need to give her a call and I think it's important for uh, particularly persons who have never been a part of the trade show right. uh, and who are thinking about it to re really move quickly and it is it's no small wonder that the, 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 the companies who have been in it before continue year after year. I mean, just, well, I mean, just, just think about it. <laughs> Why would you continue year after year to sign up in the B5 BVI trade show if you weren't getting tremendous benefits? So uh, the companies who have not participated in a, in a BVI, a by BVI trade show, this is an opportunity to, to, go, to come in. You're getting an early start. Yes, many of the businesses have already signed up who usually sign up anyway, right. but there's still some space available and I think I'm encouraging those businesses to take advantage of that opportunity, take advantage of the time right now to call Avril at 494-3514 to get your space. And you can get a space from, uh, as you were saying, uh, Troy. From, from the, they have a tabletop. They obviously have boot sizes. They've got small, medium, and large boots. The prices range from um, $250 to get a spot all the way up to $700 to have a large And you guys didn't raise the prices? Yeah. We, didn't, we didn't raise the, the prices. Price. And being able to come in and get a boot for maybe three twenty-five or something like that is a great opportunity. Some people have made that back three times over. Three in, times in, over. In, in, we're four times over in the first day. That's right. Yeah. The, the chamber provides the space. We provide tables. We, we, we provide electricity. Uh, everything that you need to basically come and set up and present your business or your service that you provide. Now putting this on is no. And you don't have to. Sorry, yes. uh, Trevor, you don't have to be a, a, a member of the BVICCHA. There's a, a small additional fee if you're not if you're a non-member. No, well, actually, the, the prices I gave were non-member prices. Or, or non so prices? obviously, okay. if you're a member of the BVICCHA, which we encourage all businesses to be, okay. um, there is a savings that you can have a, a, a small discounted uh, price. So membership has so its benefits. Fits. Membership, <laughs> some of the members will even pay less than those numbers that. And it's and it's, and, you, and it's and it's time to sign up and become a member. <laughs> definitely, <laughs> yeah, so you definitely. Get a member, you can take advantage of the discount as no, well. No, putting this on. I mean, it's 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 a huge project for the BVI CCHA. It's one of their one of their signature projects. Mm -hmm. And and now, can you be a volunteer or is it is it how, how does it, can you be can can most, someone most definitely, most definitely we need volunteers most definitely okay um, again BVI CCHA made up of you know bus the business community and the chamber of commerce is basically a volunteer organization all of us are volunteering our time and all you know expertise for the time being i know you were president of business at one time and i'm doing my stint as you call it that's right, um, <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. making sure that we you know continue to build a business community and we encourage anybody who wants to be a volunteer specifically for the trade show if you like trade shows and there's something that you believe you you can contribute and you wanted to, to be a volunteer, um, call Avril and you know, come and be a volunteer. This we is a great initiative. This is a great and initiative. Four nine four three five one four. This is a great initiative, and and I think it's 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 great for the BVI businesses to get on board because it's a it's a wonderful way. I mean, you can you, when you go there, you're meeting friends mm -hmm. that have other businesses. You, you you meet persons that are in the same industry as you. You talk and you you, you talk shop, and there's a lot of ideas and a lot of businesses that happen that business that happens right. actually at that trade That's show. Right. It's it's amazing. And it's you, very, it's you, fun to see. As you, well. and you have you have some people come from overseas as well. Some people come from as far as, as Puerto Rico. Some people come from as far as Miami. They come to bring product, new products to Correct. sell, and they come to get whatever products we have here to take back with them. That is very and true. Make, and make contacts and you know, associations. So it's, it's 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 a time of, of of sharing business, the business community sharing, coming together and make it, making good ways for for the consumer to benefit here in the BVI. Well, well I, I, and also Trevor, before you before we before you wrap up, um, as Cromwell talked about people coming from overseas. You know, recently I've heard a number of people coming from St. Thomas to buy specific um, products, products within, over here. within the BVI. And sometimes, you, you, you know, recently I've been uh, to St. Thomas and people are saying, listen, you guys have some great um, products and prices up there. I mean, they come up, some people come up for milk, some people come up for, you know, a lot of different cleaning things. Supplies. That, cleaning so supplies. that we have as, you know, at, at better prices than they have down there. The so trend is shifting. Some, you yeah. know, again, it's, you know, it's a great opportunity. I think for businesses to come mingle with other businesses, we 
we're going to be providing some key um, services. They're going to be 15 minute segments so the business people can digest them very easily and tips on how to use these new technologies and market to your customer. And I'm telling you, um, obviously we're promoting the registration during this program, but we're going to be doing the next program where we're going to be telling you everything that's actually going to be happening uh, at the trade show. And you know, I encourage those businesses to um, be part of it from now. So we're talking about the 2012 by BVI Trade Show, which is an initiative by the BVI Chamber of Commerce and Hotel Association, and it's on December 7th and the 8th. Uh, two, we do it two days. Yes, two is that days correct? Two day and the theme is by BVI and what? And save. Save. By BVI and save. Yes. 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 You know, I want to say thank you for, for being on our show, uh, Chamber Talk, and we're certainly going to be looking forward to the second series um, where, where you talk about more about the by BVI trade show and I, I, I'm i very excited I'm, I was looking forward to the trade show it's going to be exciting for sure yes thank you very much for coming on board and, and talking about the by BVI trade show and, and thanks, and thanks, for, and having thanks for having us Trevor good evening <laughs>